Hey, this is Thomas Mashad. Welcome back to Brain Doodles. In this lesson of lettering, we're going to take a little bit more of an advanced look at using lettering, and this one is going to be brought to you, as they say in Sesame Street, by the letter V. Okay, let's say you've taken some notes. Say, physics. This is some basic f principles of physics. Motion, speed, velocity. Okay, and when I take a look at these notes, and this is the way that my notes certainly used to be, um, you know, how can I get all of this, you know, shoved into my brain that I can remember all of this text? Okay, but what we want to try to do is we want to take all of this and filter it down into something that is a little bit more easy to understand for the brain to process. Okay, something that is much more visual. Uh, for the mind to get and easier to remember. Okay, so let's take a look and see how we can do this. Okay, for the first thing that we're going to do is we have uh, three topics that we're going to cover. We have motion. And when you're listening to your teacher, sometimes at the beginning, as you're listening to something, it may not make sense of how can I make you know all of this into my notes okay so sometimes you have to end up writing it out and then going back and then maybe doing some illustrations sometimes you can do little basic illustrations on the fly and as you become more proficient in doodling while you're listening this is going to become much much easier but whatever you do have patience with yourself okay so this right now we're just getting in the, getting the opportunity that hey listen we have some notes what we're going to do is we're going to translate those notes into something that we can see visually. So the first topic is that we have motion. Now if we just write out motion, that really isn't going to be telling us much, is it? Now one of the things that we've done, remember, is that we can use a slanted line. So we can have motion slanted, okay, getting this idea of movement. Now, the reason why this particular lesson is brought to you by the letter V is that motion in uh, physics is vector, is a vector. And what that means is that it means that it's moving in a particular direction. Now, the first thing that we can do is that we have this line and we have an arrow. But you'll notice that the arrow, what shape is that? What letter does it look like? Of course, the letter V on its side. So we could bold that letter V to letting us and helping us to remember that this is a vector. And we can put a little legend up here. Remember V, or we'll just write out the word vector, and the letter V or the V on its side equals vector. Okay, and maybe we'll end up bolding these. So motion is a vector, and the next thing that we're going to take a look at is how can we draw this idea of motion out? Because what motion is, is you're thinking of two objects, okay? One is at rest, and one is in motion, okay? And there could be something inside of this object that is also at rest, all right? So how can we draw that out, all right? How can we use some of the basic shapes that we've already used to convey motion? Now, the principles that I'm going to be teaching you here are not my creation. They're created by a wonderful man, Dave Gray. Um, and uh, you can go into the resources on this website and learn more um, from Dave Gray than what I could possibly give you in all of these lessons. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to draw a truck. All right. And first off, we're going to start out with the ground line, the road. All right. Now, a truck, and we're going to consider this as a pickup truck. The basic body is what? A rectangle. Yeah. Okay. And then, of course, we have the cab in which the driver sits. Now, you could certainly, you know, draw this out as just a square first and then maybe add a little bit of a line, slanted line to it for the windshield or, you know what, just simply draw the square. So we have the first thing first is drawing the ground line. Second thing is to drawing the main body of what it is that you're going to be drawing, okay? Then the third thing that we want to do is we want to connect this truck to the ground. And how are they connected? by the wheels. And what shape are our wheels? They're circular. Okay. Now, the next thing is um, we can also add 
in the little details like the the door and the headlights if we wanted to because this way we know the truck is going this direction we can draw some lines out to say that it's moving then also what we're going to do is we are going to create some circles here in the back because the uh, the cargo of this particular truck is carrying some uh, soccer balls to the kids uh, soccer camp okay now here's a couple of things is that the the truck is in motion but the balls are at rest inside the truck okay now another way that we can show a comparison is let's let's draw this we're going to draw a line straight up coming out so it looks like an upside down L another line down and then a curve half circle okay and then we're going to draw a straight line now we want to connect this to the ground but not all the way to this ground maybe this is up on the curb so all right one of the things is, is that we can draw another ground line and connect that to that ground line so this is our street lamp the street lamp is at rest while the the truck going by is in motion okay so those are the things that we show at rest the truck is in motion all right so that's our first principle we have the principle of motion it's a vector it shows direction the and in this particular truck the truck is traveling to the right so that is our vector movement movement so truck going to the right is our vector motion now the next two items kind of work hand in hand one is velocity and the other one is speed okay velocity we can kind of draw this at a slant as well because it shows movement okay so we have these angled lines now great thing about velocity and I'm going to highlight this letter V kind of block it out I'm gonna bold it really add some dark line color to this now velocity what do you think that this is yes a vector all right velocity is a vector once again showing a direction okay and uh, you know what velocity is is that you might want to consider is that we have this compass north south east and west it shows the direction velocity not only says that we're moving but we're moving in a particular direction okay this isn't concerned with how fast that we're moving but that we're just moving in a particular direction say like to the northeast or straight east or something like that okay so it's not how fast something is going but it's that it's moving in a particular direction okay so velocity is a vector showing direction and then uh, you know we could you know have like an angle velocity you know you could show things you know can move in an arc then the next thing is is speed so versus speed and really they kind of work hand in hand here that we could you know be traveling to the east at a particular rate of speed now the speed and we can come back up in here to our legend and add to it we also have another scalar so we could do the letter s is meaning scalar okay so um, the uh, the s here for speed is helping us to know that speed is not a vector it's scalar okay and certainly if we wanted to eh, let's draw out speed with some angled lines speed now speed doesn't need necessarily mean that we're going really extremely fast that it just means that we're going at some speed okay and in this one speed can be represented we're gonna do a half circle we're gonna do a line to cutting off that circle or really we could have even just drawn the ground line first and then drawn the circle and then drawn another circle on the inside no we're not drawing a donut uh, we're gonna draw other little lines on the inside and we're gonna start out over here at zero and we're gonna end up over at 100 and we're gonna draw an arrow 
maybe like at 50. Okay. So this is telling us that we're in here in the United States. We travel at miles per hour. So we're going to be traveling at a speed of 50 miles an hour. Now speed can go anywhere from zero on up or from one, you know, any ending number on down. But the one thing that we have to know is that um, that speed equals a positive number. Okay. Okay. So here we have. Um, motion, we have velocity, and we have speed. We show that things are either vector or scalar. All right. And so already we can start to see how we can use text and how we can use our basic shapes to creating our notes. Okay. So you can probably figure out other ways in classes that you're working with right now, but I wanted to show you a basic example of physics and the basic properties of motion, velocity, and speed, and how that translate, translates into visual note-taking.